Uh, I want to bring in now CNN National Security Analyst James Clapper, the former director of national intelligence. Uh, Mr. Clapper, thank you so much for joining us. What did you think of tonight's performance by President Trump? Well, uh, Don, it's hard to know where to where to start. Uh, it's just so objectionable on so many uh, levels. Um, you know, I've toiled in one capacity or another for every president uh, since and including John F. Kennedy through President Obama. And I don't know when I've listened and watched something like this from a president that I found more uh, disturbing. Having some understanding of uh, the levers of power that are available to a president if uh, he chooses to exercise them, uh, I found this uh, uh, downright scary and and uh, and disturbing. I think uh, Bakari is uh, right on the money, though. That uh, this is not a surprise. It <clears throat> interesting to contrast uh, last night's uh, teleprompter Trump performance uh, versus uh, tonight, which is of course uh, the real Trump, uh, just as it was in that the unglued impromptu press conference uh, at Trump Tower. So I, I just find this uh, extremely disturbing. Are you questioning his fitness? Yes, I do. I, I, I really que question uh, his uh, ability to, uh, his fitness to be in this office. And I also uh, am beginning to wonder uh, about uh, his, his motivation for it. Maybe, maybe he is looking for a way out. Uh, I do wonder as well about uh, uh, the people that uh, uh, attracted to, to, this, to the, this rally as, as others. Uh, you know, what are they thinking or why am I so far out uh, off base? Because uh, I, I don't understand uh, the adulation and of course that's why I think he uh, gravitated to having this rally as ill-timed as it, as it is. Uh, he should have quit while he was ahead after last night. But uh, again, I think the uh, the real Trump uh, came through. And again, as Bakari said, shouldn't be a big surprise to anyone. What should we do? What should Washington do at this point? You said you're questioning his fitness. There are many people who are saying it. They won't say it publicly. They don't have the courage that you do. Maybe after this speech, they will now. It, it will become painfully obvious to, as it is to most Americans. What should we do? Well... I think, uh, you know, the key thing here is uh, where is he with uh, Republicans? And I was quite struck by Senator Corker's uh, remarks, very thoughtful and very, very measured. And uh, I've, I know Senator Corker, I've dealt with him, and uh, he is a very thoughtful senator, and uh, he wouldn't say that. Uh, lightly and, and without uh, forethought. And I'm hopeful that other uh, sim similarly thoughtful Republicans will reach the point where enough is enough. Hmm. Enough is enough. And what do you, it, what do you mean? Be plain for us. Well, <laughs> that this behavior uh, and this uh, uh, divisiveness and the, and the complete uh, intellectual, moral, and ethical void that uh, the President of the United States uh, exhibits. And uh, how much longer does the country have to, uh, to borrow a phrase, endure this nightmare? Hmm. The New York Times is reporting tonight about the falling out between the President and Mitch McConnell over the investigations of Russia's interference in the 2016 election. There you see the headline uh, up on the screen. The report says the President was furious that McConnell failed to protect him. You call the accusations of collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia worse than Watergate. What do you think is going on with the President? Why is this such a hot button for him? Well, uh, first to be clear, Don, I uh when I left, certainly uh, on the 20th of January, I, I had not seen any uh, uh, evidence of a direct collusion between the Trump campaign, the Trump camp, and the Russians. There may have been collusion, but uh, I didn't have any uh, evidence of it. 
Um, so I don't understand, uh, frankly, the uh, president's uh, fascination and uh, uh, solicitation of uh, solicitousness of uh, Russia and Putin, uh, particularly unless uh, he feels he's, he's a kindred soul, perhaps. Uh, so it is it is very strange to me, um, uh, and I I don't have an explanation for it. I don't know if it's collusion or something else. You have you said you question his his fitness. Is he a threat to national security, the president? Well, he certainly could be. Uh, again, um, having some understanding of, of the, uh, the levers that a president can exercise, um, I worry about, frankly, uh, uh, you know, the uh, access to the nuclear codes. Uh, if he, in a fit of pique, uh, he decides to uh, do something about Kim Jong-un, uh, there's actually very little uh, to to stop them, uh, the syst the whole system's built uh, to ensure a rapid response if if necessary. So there are very little uh, in the way of controls over uh, you know exercising a nuclear option, which is uh, pretty damn scary. Do you see this as a crisis, Mr. Clapper? Well, I I'm not sure where the what the definition of a, of a crisis is. If, if it is, we've been in it for quite a while, um, certainly since uh, the election. I have to say, Don, I, was, I couldn't help but think in the course of the, uh, the Charlottesville, uh, his statements about Charlottesville, when he was so quick to characterize uh, the intelligence community as Nazis, liken us to Nazis on the 10th of January, yet seem very reluctant to call out the real wanna or the wannabe Nazis uh, in this case. And uh, uh, maybe that's, uh, I'm being a little parochial here and, and defend, defensive about the intelligence community, but that is, that's one thought I had. So I think if, if, if it is a crisis, uh, we've been in it for quite a while. What do you think other intelligence officials now and people who have some sway in Washington, what are the conversations they're having tonight and what will they be having tomorrow, you think? Well, I think, this speech. I think uh, many people in the intelligence community, certainly in rank and file, are, 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 are worried, are concerned uh, about this. Uh, they, they uh, in their, and it's a tradition in the intelligence community to uh, carry on with the mission and provide the intelligence that our decision makers uh, so desperately need. And they'll continue to do that. But I think in moments of uh, personal reflection, I suspect they are, they are uh, greatly concerned about the uh, divisiveness that uh, is taking hold of this country. James Clapper is a former director of national intelligence, and we thank you, Mr. Clapper. Thank you for your service to the country. We thank you for coming on this evening.